Sir, you only three minutes. In three minutes, you should. Thank you, sir. Support and welcome this bill, sir, because it is a very important legislation and is it is highly essential, sir. After smallpox and different forms of hepatitis, HIV and AIDS becomes disaster disease. As far as our nation is concerned, it would lead to a very big national calamity. Even now, as we know, our country is having 2.1 million HIV po positive patients. A good number is children. What is the attitude of the general public, sir? They want to get rid of these people. Due to this behavior of the society, the identified HIV patients become isolated from the society. Most of their fundamental rights are denied, sir. The children could not continue their studies in, the, in certain schools. There are also Indian citizens, sir. They are also having equal rights which other people enjoy. They, it should not be curtailed. I guess this is the first uh, disease-centric uh, legislation in our country, sir. When we make a law, it has to be a perfect one, sir. It should cover almost all important points. Maybe we cannot legislate a 100% perfect law, but we should try for that. Keeping this mind, keeping this aspect in mind, when we go through this bill, I feel certain defects, sir. When we walk, talk about prevention and control, everybody will agree that prevention of a disease is better than cure. Sex is a basic natural instinct. Nobody can prevent anyone from it. HIV and AIDS generally spread through sexual contact. Sexual contact can, cannot be banned, but we can do one thing, that is education and awareness among the youth about the better sexual relationship. Sir, it has to be a part of our formal education in school as well as in colleges. It must be a part of our syllabus. My opinion is a mandatory provision must be incorporated in this bill. At least one hour or a period should be spared in a month. Safe and healthy sex practices and its importance in the family life may be taught at the appropriate age level. Another point I would like to present here, you sir, the, the removal of, uh, about the removal of a worker who is protected person from his job by the employer. Chapter 2 and Clause 3 deals with this subject, sir. Actually, this clause is incorporated for the protection of protected person. Subclass A says, the denial of or termination from employment or occupation, unless in the case of termination, the person who is otherwise qualified is furnished with a, one, a copy of the written assessment of a qualified and independent health care provider competent to do so. That much uh, such protected person possess significant risk of transmission of HIV to other patient in work place or is unfit to perform the duties of the job. But sir, here is the problem. Most of the employers do not allow to continue a worker after knowing that he is a protected person because he thinks it will not promote his business. So the employer's first intention would be to oust the protected person by all means. sir. Nowadays, getting a medical certificate is not a big thing. He can easily collect such a certificate stating that this worker is unfit for job. Sir, one minute. So my opinion is, instead of a single health care provider, there must be a medical board comprising at least three competent health care providers from the different field. After detailed examination, that board should certify that this protected person is fit or unfit. Only that certificate should Certificate issued by the board should be considered as a valid document. Moreover, there must be an appellate authority also. The third one which I bring your notice about, sir, the protection of the protected person. Treatment is a right of the protected person, sir. Each and every protected person must be given free and complete treatment by the government. A separate department should be formed for the monitoring the treatment. Treatment is very costly. The poor people can, cannot afford the expenses. Hence, the complete free and treat yes. treat treatment has to be provided, okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Thank you very much.